So I think in education in general, I'm seeing that a lot of people are overwhelmed with everything they have to accomplish in any given time or moment. And I am seeing that people need ways to organize, to trim, to focus. And if it's said that we can only really change 10%, people need help picking their 10% that they're gonna focus on for that year. And in math, what are the most important concepts that they're gonna focus on for that year? My best advice would be for them to make sure that they understand the math they're teaching at a conceptual level. So, and to not be afraid to say, I don't understand the math I'm teaching, even if I'm a kindergarten teacher. That we wanna do what's right for kids and we wanna teach it conceptually. So if you don't know how to do that, ask for help. Um, I think too many new teachers feel like they should know everything because they just got out of school and it's okay to not know everything and it's okay to ask for help. Even in my 19 years of education, things have changed. And so I have to accept that what I did at the time was okay. It was all I knew at the time. It was the best I had to offer kids. But now I know better, so I have to do better. And so when we think about that, like letting go of the guilt to be a learner and to do something different doesn't mean that what you were doing before was bad. I think it shows a lot of um, actual risk taking and vulnerability and an ability to be a learner. And I would rather work with a learner than someone who thinks they knows it all, know it all and then they're not able to actually perform. Mm -hmm. So I want people to be vulnerable. I want them to ask for help and that mistakes are, like SDE says on some of their little hashtags, mistakes are just evidence that you're trying. So you know it's okay to make a mistake, but then what do you do about it once you've made it? So together, let's create extraordinary classrooms.